The first thing you might have noticed when you got the new Windows 7 operating system is most likely the look of the new taskbar. It is obviously different than it was in Windows XP and Windows Vista. On the left, we have the Start menu. If you are familiar with Windows XP, it might look a little different. For you Vista users, it will look pretty similar. Instead of having a button that says Start, we now have what is called the Windows Orb. We will discuss the Start menu in detail in a later movie. Right next to the Windows Orb, we have some quick launch icons. These will look a little bit different than the ones in Windows XP and Windows Vista. They are similar in the way that they open programs, but also have many improvements as well. Let's take a look at some of those improvements. I'm going to go to the Start menu and open a few programs. You don't have to open the same programs as I do, just pick any two that are handy. When I open those programs, an icon on the taskbar appears for each one. Since I opened the calculator first, that one appears first on the taskbar. If I want to change the order of the icons on the taskbar, all I have to do is click and hold on the icon that I want to move, and then drag it to the position that I would like to place it. You might also notice that running programs look a little bit different. They have this shaded box around them that lets us know that the program is running and is ready to be used. If I want the program icon to stay on the taskbar, I can pin the program to it. This is convenient for the programs that you always use. For example, if I want to keep this calculator icon on the taskbar, all I have to do is right click on the icon and choose pin this program to taskbar. Now when I close this application, the icon remains on the taskbar so that I can reopen it with one click. Something cool that Windows 7 offers is called Arrow Peaks. When I hover over an icon of a running program, a small preview image of that program will pop up. This is useful when you are running two or more of the same program. Let's take a look at an example of how this works. I'm going to open up the Internet Explorer program. After the first web page is done loading, I'm going to open up a separate tab and go to a different web page. If you don't know how to do this, don't worry because we're going to learn more about this program in a later movie. I'm going to minimize the program by clicking on the minimize button on the top right of the window. Now when I go down to the icon, you can see that there are two shaded boxes overlapping which represent the multiple tabs that I have open in the internet browser. It also gives us a preview of each tab I have open. When I hover over one, it will bring that window to the front and give us a larger preview. If I want to bring the window to the front to be worked on, just click on the preview image. I am going to minimize the program that I just opened and go back and hover over the icon. Notice also that when I hover over one of the preview images, that a small red X appears in the right. If I want, I can close the window from here instead of having to click and open the window and then close it from there. Now let's take a look at the right side of the taskbar. This area is called the notification area. In this area, we will see program icons that provide status and notification about things like antivirus, updates, network connectivity, computer volume, and other programs that are on the computer. By default, Windows will display the icons for the Action Center, network connection status, and the computer's volume. To the left of those icons, there is a small arrow that when I click on it, will show the overflow area. These are the program icons that will be different depending on the programs that you have installed on your computer. If you would like to change which icons are displayed in the notification area, you can click and hold on the icon, then drag it towards the desktop and let go. 
This will move the icon to the overflow area. If I want to move the icon back, just click and hold and drag it back to the notification area. To change how the icons display in both the notification area and the overflow area, click on the customize button that is located inside the overflow area. A window will pop up that shows us all the programs that can display an icon in the notification area. To change the icon behavior, click on the drop down list for the icon that you would like to change. Select from one of the three options. You can either choose to show icon and notifications, hide icon and notifications, or only show notifications. Finally, if you would like to turn any of the system icons on or off, click the link here. You will be able to turn off the icons for the clock, the volume, the network, the power, which is the battery if you have a laptop, and the action center. When you are done, click OK. One last option to choose from is the checkbox that will always show the icons on the taskbar. When I choose this, you can see that all of the icons will be displayed on the taskbar and you will no longer have the overflow area. When you are done, click OK to save your changes. Now let's take a look at some of the taskbar properties. To get to the properties, go down and right click on an open area of the taskbar. On the list that pops up, click on properties. In the taskbar properties, you can see that it has an area for changing the appearance of the taskbar. The first item on the list is to lock the taskbar. If I uncheck this, then click apply, I will be able to move the taskbar with my mouse to different locations on the screen. The next option we will see is to auto hide the taskbar. Let's try this out. You can see that when I move my mouse on and off the taskbar, that it automatically hides itself. I can also click the taskbar to lock it temporarily, which will make it stay there until I click the desktop or another program. The last item on the list is to use small icons. When I check this and hit apply, it shrinks the entire taskbar. This may be useful if you have a small monitor and you are trying to save screen space. We are also able to change the location of the taskbar from the properties menu. To do that, click on the drop down list next to where it says taskbar location on screen. Select the location that you want and then click apply. Right below that option, I can also change the way the icons appear on the taskbar. Let's change it to never combine to see what that does. Now instead of having just a small icon, there is also a program name displayed. Because of Arrow Peak, this feature in Windows 7 is rarely used. The last tool on the taskbar that I want to show you is the button all the way to the right corner. This is the Show Desktop button, and when I click on it, we'll minimize all the windows. And when I click on it again, we'll bring them back. This concludes our look at the Windows 7 taskbar.